All right, so I want to do this little breakdown of the uh, lyrics of Dante's battle theme, Subhuman, from Devil May Cry 5, because I strongly believe that they're hinting towards Perfect Devil Trigger, and possibly more. So, I'm going to be breaking down the uh, lyrics line by line. But first, just to give you a little idea, the lyrics seem to be strongly hinting to him using some kind of a uh, bestial, bestial or feral state. So, you know, my first theory here is how, um, how or why it might have happened based on what we saw with the uh, Cavalier, Angelo, and Trish leak. So I think that um, it's one possibility here. Yeah, no, before we get to that is that the song has a strong emphasis on self-control. And we know that Trish was somehow used against Dante, and you know several people, myself included, feel that Lucia is the demonic-looking angel figure that uh, Nero fought in the first trailer when he was riding his arm like a uh, rocket. And Virgil was turned into Nello Angelo, and I have another theory video I'm going to do later about the what I believe to be the nature of the Angelo style enemies. But I do think the Angelo name has some significant meaning. And it could suggest that Nello Angelo was created in the same manner as uh, Cavalier Angelo, where it was some sort of demonic apparatus or perhaps entity that was seemingly using Trish as a host, which fits with what we know of Nello Angelo. But what if something similar happens to Dante, or he gets targeted for that? We know the Order intended to use him as their power source for the Savior in Devil May Cry 4, and I've got a whole other theory about how I believe a lot of what we're seeing in five uh, trailers so far is the basis for the Order's technology in Devil May Cry 4 that uh, this was this is a fully demonic version of what we saw then, what humans were trying to do. But, um, uh, yeah, so... One, me one of my theories here is that, uh, Dante could get targeted for something like this, and then gain his perfect DT, or some equivalent, by breaking free of the control, but struggling to control the power. Perhaps he could even become a pure demon in that state. The other that Dante is targeted for something like this and uses his perfect DT to break out of it. But he does it in desperation because it consumes his humanity. Because uh, we know the art book for 4 said that the perfect devil trigger was meant to be his absolute maximum power, but render him feral almost. So that's just speculation, I'm far from certain that Dante will be turned or that any such plot twist will happen where Dante is forced into such a state like that because he's been targeted for some kind of brainwashing or something. But the rest that I'm going to cover is what I think is why I very strongly believe that Perfect DT or an equivalent will happen. So the song alternates between tones of uh, desperation and fury, suggesting that Dante will be pushed past his limit and forced into a final form, for lack of a better term. This supported by the this is supported by the main chorus. Uh, I I think it's the chorus. I'm not very up on musical terminology. You cannot kill me. I am Omega. You cannot kill me. I am subhuman. And that suggests this will be. A, most powerful and final state, drawing from both the actual meaning of Omega as the final letter of the Greek alphabet, and its general use in pop culture as something all-powerful. And also, a state that sacrifices his humanity and makes him subhuman, both in his own eyes and quite literally in a lore context. And that matches up with what we know of Perfect DT, that it was meant to be Dante's utmost limit in an almost feral state. The Omega state renders him subhuman, if you will. That's the gist of it, but now I'm going to start breaking down the lyrics and how they support this idea for anyone who's interested in watching farther. Consider everything I've set up till now basically the TLDR version. The 
first line, as I stare into the eye of the coming apocalypse, I see him reaching for my soul. This is strongly suggesting that the coming incident will surpass the scale of everything we've seen to now. The use of apocalypse really feels meant to convey a grander scope. This is backed up by the stakes being raised with Dante's soul on the line. Seems like just a generic DMC battle lyric, but all the songs till now have strong thematic ties to their games, with Devil Trigger really connected with Nero's personal arc. Five, at least seemingly, from what we've seen so far. On further thought, with the addition of further lyrics, though, this opening of a subhuman is the start of a very strong theme of stakes and scope for Dante's soul and power, respectively. The next series of lines are important both in the lyrics themselves and how they are structured. I cannot erupt, I must control. This suggests that Dante is struggling to control something. We know he doesn't generally struggle physically, and he's mentally aloof in Zen after 3, so... This has a dual meaning in that he's struggling to control himself and his emotions this time. Supported by him showing concern for Nero and grief for Nell. If you don't know who she is, Nell Goldstein was the one who made Ebony and Ivory and her name was dropped by Nico in the Dante trailer. And the next part even further supports this. I cannot erupt, I must explode. This is important for two reasons. The lyric supports that Dante is struggling with his emotions as he gives in to what he's struggling with. Not just gives in, but the I must explode suggests really losing himself in rage, bloodlust, etc. The second point is that this comes right after the I must control, which strongly supports him fighting with himself internally. Possibly a literal struggle against the dark side, or just a personal and moral struggle. He knows what he has to do, but he doesn't want to do it type thing. Which supports the idea that his full power is something with a serious drawback. And the next line, funny how the mind tries to sink me deeper as the evil tries to turn me around. Shows again that Dante is dealing with an internal conflict as he also tries to deal with demons. Possibly even suggesting that Dante is being forced to see Virgil's perspective, and that he needs more power at the cost of humanity. The evil tries to turn me around fits this. I will not falter, shout at the devil as I bury them six foot underground. Seems like standard DFC battle fare, but it's got a subtle difference. Most of the battle lyrics from prior games have carried a smug sense of superiority in the same vein as the characters with their taunts. That the enemy should be afraid of Dante slash Nero and by extension the other characters. Subhuman differs in that it still suggests that Dante is unstoppable, but it has a fury and a rage that wasn't present before. The prior songs were suggestive of Dante's playful personality, while this is again suggestive of him being in a situation where he isn't holding back anymore and is not amused about it. All of this fits with Dante struggling, refused to, refusing to give in, and determined not to become like the demons. The next lyric is kind of unclear, but it again supports the idea of struggling to hold something back. The hours trapped in window pane, as it all locks me in chains. Possibly Dante ruminating after losing to Urizen and reflecting on how his humanity is holding back his power, and his power is threatening his humanity, being stuck on what to do. The heartless ride and happy thoughts of this crumbling world would suggest him riding deeper through the devastation on Cavalier after his failure to stop Urizen. This further strength further strengthening his resolve to do what he needs to do, and reminiscing on the good times as he might not be coming back. You cannot kill me, I am Omega, you cannot kill me, I am subhuman. Again, fits the idea of Dante being at his limits and forced to take on a final form with Renism subhuman. Being placed here works further with the build-up as Dante progresses in this possible arc. The next part has it repeat along with the other chorus, You cannot kill me, I cannot erupt, is Dante again struggling with the decision. I am Omega, I must control, since that his Omega state is something he struggles to control. 
You cannot kill me. I cannot erupt our organic desperate internal struggle before another I must explode matching a prior use. I must not forget that I have bled from no respect for the demons in my head. Calls back to how Dante lost against Virgil when he refused to accept his demonic heritage. And also reference how he underestimated Miro and got impaled by his own on his own sword. As well as uh, Alistair when that happened there too. Something saved me, put me out of my destiny and dropped me safely in this hell. Suggests that Dante again knows what he will have to do but absolutely doesn't want to and he's desperate for another option. I see right past me, the eyes are flashing as I call upon the dark gift to erupt. Suggested that I can look past what he wants, as he gives in and unleashes what he's been holding back. The eyes are flashing, could even support Mundus, I mean Moonus, fuck I gotta stop mixing those two up. Moonus returning and Dante using his full power in response. With the devil on my back and the demons out right in front, I slash through and slice its shadow up. Plays on the angel and devil on the shoulder as a representation of an internal struggle. And, you know, Dante actually had a wings again. So he's got the de This time he finally accepted it and he's got the devil on his back. With the final line being Dante, I mean the second line finally being Dante going all out in his presumed Omega state. The final delivery of you cannot kill me, I am Omega, you cannot kill me, I am subhuman ties it all together. So all of this is just, to me, screams that we're going to see Perfect Devil Trigger or something like it, where Dante's personal story arc this time will be much higher stakes and there will be some manner of self-control involved and a loss of it. But I don't want to make this any longer than it needs to be, so if you've listened this far, thanks for listening slash watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. I've got quite a few other series and just character analysis that I've done on this series that I'd love to make videos on in the future. So, yeah, thanks for watching. See ya. Yeah. <laughs>